personal bubble? If I am, too bad. <laughs> that ain't because I don't understand if you guys say yes or no. Hi, guys. Um, it is the day before Halloween. And I got nothing for you guys. Um, I guess I could tell you is my experience. So, story time with Lim. So, um, I went to a haunted escape room. I don't do well in haunted anything. I, I, I couldn't even go into, like, a baby haunted house if I wanted to. Like, legit, I would, it, it's, no. No, 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 no. I am the type of person that even if I'm in a fake situation... I'm still, I still think of that situation. Although now that I'm kind of like, you know what, I'm LG. Especially with this whole clown stuff happening, it's not helping me. Okay, clowns, clowns are supposed to be funny and nice and make people laugh, not scare the living creeplets out of your children. Mm-hmm. Anyways, back to my story. So, I went with the volleyball team for a team bonding and <laughs> I can tell you that I was so scared you have no idea I I got there early not really JK got there a little late and we're waiting for it to open so it opens and this whole entire place is decked out i forgot to vlog it but this place was decked out with like creepy halloween shiz <laughs> thinking about it anyways so we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting i'm trying to avoid every single thing in this this room like the lobby and then <coughs> so while everyone's here we have to read a waiver and it's just saying um, are you okay with people touching you? Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, <laughs> I was not, but you know, but it's okay. Um, so then, in order to go into the room, you have to put a bag over your head. A bag over your head. <sighs> oh. Anyways, so... Everyone's getting their bag on their head, and the lady hands me my bag, and I'm like this. No. <laughs> I was like, I was crying, and I was like, I don't want to do this. And, like, I am I literally took a step back, and I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, I ain't doing this shiz. And <laughs> the, lady, the lady was like, would you like a white one? Will that make you feel any better? I mean, I was like... In my head, I was like, she was like, because you can still see things. So I was like, I was like, um, okay. I guess. Uh, and then, I don't, I don't remember much, so I'm just going to remember what I can remember. So then I get the white bag off, I put it on my head, and I still can't see shiz. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, Bro, you said I could see crystal clear. That means I can see crystal clear. I can't see anything. Mm-hmm. But I guess what she meant was like I can I can see things better than in the black bag, so I'm not as scared. <sighs> she scared me. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this at night. <laughs> I'm just like maybe maybe I should finish this video tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Cause I'm like mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm like home, and maybe I should finish the video when it's not my time to sleep. Anyways, just to give you a heads, uh, whatever, I'll just continue talking about it. So then, we get into this room, and Edie, she tells us the scenario. Basically, he's a serial killer, and he's being nice to you before he electrocutes you, and you have to find all the clues. So we get into the small little room before the actual room, and... No joke, we all start panicking. I'm probably the one that started screaming the most. I was like, Who is what the if am I doing here? I was like, get me out. I was like, I was going to take that fail sign because you could take a fail sign and there was a clue sign. Clue sign. Fail sign, you can just cut it. You're done. You're out. Clue sign is unlimited. You can ask for as many clues as you want. 
Anyways, I was like, right when we got into that little room, like, it wasn't even the starting room. It was like a little, like a little hallway. I'm like this, oh hell, get me out of here. Hand me this, like, hand me this, this fail sign. I'm done. I am done. So we take off the mask and I see, hell, I see children's names. And I'm like, what the F? Like, oh my gosh, I work with children. This is effed over um so then we our teacher our coach was like our head coach was like okay y'all gonna take so long so i'm just gonna find you as the first key to the actual room and it was scary as f i literally almost wanted to cry and hand up the fail sign anyways so we're doing all this and the young uh, not the young one the the volleyball team was like monica we'll stick by you we're always gonna buy you no one's gonna mess with you we are here for you no one's gonna attack you or kill you i mean if someone did hell i would punch anyone so hard that they would have nightmares of me not me having nightmares of them like i would steer you down and be like anyways so then we get into the room and there are two girls that are just so braveless. They're just like, they pick up, because the, there's a phone. So they pick up the phone, they're like, what's up? And one of the girls, while we're finding clues, she picked up the phone, and the dude on the phone was like, who's the girl next to you? And I'm next to her. She was like, oh, that's Monica. And I'm like, bruh. Really? <laughs> you had to tell them my name? And then everyone was like, I mean, they already saw the waiver. And I was like, oh, well, shit. You that you you right you right they did. Anyways, anyways, so then I think he loved to pick on me the most because I was the most scared. I never I I I I stayed away from everything. Well then, he called and he asked for me and I was like oh hell no I was like oh hell no I was like mm mm. Mm-mm, you ain't gonna take me, boo. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I was like, mm-mm, <laughs> no. I was like, seriously? I was like, <laughs> I was like, please don't. And every time, he was like, oh, I'd like to speak to Monica. And I was like, why? 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 Why me, homie? Anyways, so then one of the clues, you have to go into another... You have to go into a, another room. Another room. Really? Another room? It was a secret room. And I was like, hell, I ain't going in there. So the phone rings right before we go in. And the dude is like, I would like Gabby and Monica to go in. And I was like, bruh. I am not afraid to go up to wherever you are and kick you in your you know where. I ain't afraid, boo boo child. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. <laughs> so then, when he said that, I was like, <laughs> I like ran. I was, okay, and there was nowhere to run. There was a like corner, 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 and everything else. And every corner was really scary. So I ended up just putting my hoodie over me and just like, mm mm. I almost started, I almost cried at one point, um, but, actually, no, I did start crying at one point, but, and so then, I, I felt so bad, because one of the girls was like, okay, I can do it, the first time, something happened, and then the second time, nothing happened, but it's the first time that she's like, ooh, anyways, um, just kidding, nothing happens, you're perfectly fine, um, but it was it was definitely I've changed. So then there's a there was a second time we we had to open it three times because one of the players one of our one of our girls she lost, she closed it because she was scared of something. So our coach opened it to see what was coming, and one of the girls closed it because she didn't want anything to come out. So we were, we had to open it like three times. And we were like, uh, no, 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 no. And so, um. The second time, they were like, oh, who wants to go in? And I, like, our coach, like, pushed the, like, pushed her in, like, one of the brave ones in. And we were all, like. 
and I was like, oh snap, and it was just, it was a lot of fun, it was a good experience, it's an experience that I'll probably never do in my lifetime, it's like a been there, done that, never do it again kind of vibe, um, it was a good experience, and, and okay, so I forgot, there's one more part, so then, there was a last note that came down, and there was a second note that came out down with it. So we're, our, our team looks at it, and then I look at it, and it says three minutes left. Monica leaves first, or Monica dies first. I don't know something, Monica. And <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> I almost fainted majorly because. It was my first time in in a horror escape room ever. Anything ever haunted. It was my first time with actually no. I went like night march hunting once. I don't know why. I thought it'd be fun. Horrible decision. <laughs> Anyways, but it was just like really scary for me. And I literally on the dot I almost fainted. I was like and the dude was I'd like Monica do this first time. I was like, bruh. For real? Why is my name on here? Mm-hmm. Why is it on here? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he... I bet he enjoyed our group first because our group was the most hectic, panicking, uncontrollable <laughs> team. But we... I think half of it, we got through almost all of it through adrenaline and more of we just want to get out of here. The other half of us were like, wait, we don't... We can't function right now because we're so everywhere. Um, but we had like one clue left. And it was just... <laughs> it was something that I will experience to the day I die. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And it was definitely a way to get me out of my comfort zone. Um, actually, it got me more out of my comfort zone. It got me like... To a point where I don't ever want to go in a basement ever again in my life. Like, if someone's like, oh, yeah, our, our, like, our kid, our man cave is, I'm going to be like, you stay down there. I'm going to stay up here. Ouija, I ain't going down there. Heck no. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very cautious with people that I talk to now. Cause that was scary and I felt like it was so real even though I knew it was so fake but I'm that type of person that just does that anyways that was my experience I'm probably gonna go with a full length anyways that was my experience yeah I mean there's more stories I could talk about but it, I'm I get scared pretty easily so I will leave you off with this one maybe tomorrow I will do a Halloween entourage maybe i'll do a school vlog for you guys see what we do in school probably not much but anyways i hope you all enjoyed my experience of my first horror escape room um if you want me to tell more stories or i don't know i just want people to suggest things just suggest as much as you want for me to do um i will reject most of the things if i think it's inappropriate like if you guys want me to do like diys or something i'm down for that those are so much fun um, like makeup, even though I don't really do makeup. Yes. I'm eating. I always eat though. So, anyways, bye guys. Happy Halloween. Ooh.